Hi you guys, welcome to Healthfully Rooted Home. This is Kiri with the blog healthfullyroodedhome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. And today I'm taking you through some fun fall festivities. And my son is trying to climb up the stairs. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through some fun fall festivities. We're going to the pumpkin patch with auntie and uncle, and I'm making a cardamom sourdough bread, and, okay. <gasps> Where are your toys? And I'm making a dish that my poor husband has had to eat, I think, like, eight times in the last few weeks. And it's my harvest sheet pan meal. That is actually not on my blog, but it is on um, my fall and winter meal plan. So just go to healthfullyrootedhome.com and search meal plans and you'll find that there. The cardamom sourdough bread that I'm making though is on the blog. So check that out there for the full recipe. But yeah, we just had a really fun fall filled weekend. And we just did a few different things just to welcome fall into our home and just make it feel really festive. On this morning, I made a pumpkin spice French press, which is really similar to my cardamom French press, which is in my fall coffees video. So I just put the pumpkin spice in the coffee grounds of the French press and then I brew it as normal and oh, oh my gosh, it's so good. I will call myself out here for a second though because I actually said that I don't like pumpkin spice in my coffee in that fall coffee video. I have to retract that statement or just adjust it a little bit. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes or like espresso drinks with like that fake pumpkin spice syrup stuff, but just the pumpkin spice like seasoning or spice so good just in a simple French press brewed coffee. Love it. But I love fall. I'm one of those weird people that I enjoy fall over summer. And part of that is because of the cooking. But then another part of that is because it's this awesome time, at least here in Washington, where we'll have 70 degree days in October, like today. It is so beautiful. This morning was super chilly but like that crisp chill which kind of feels good so you wear a cozy sweater but now this afternoon like I took the sweater off and I'm just in you know my my dress and it's a beautiful day this cardamom bread recipe is so good do you guys know that like Fran's cinnamon raisin bread that's in that purple pur purple purple plastic packaging wow say that five times fast purple plastic packaging anyways it tastes like that but like an adult version slash like a million times better um so anyways it's my cardamom sourdough bread with um amaretto soaked raisins so with this recipe you don't have to soak the raisins in amaretto you can soak them just in like filtered water most of the alcohol cooked out of the raisins but i'm only cooking the bread for like 40 minutes so i think that equates to like 20 percent of the alcohol still in the raisins um so enough to where i wouldn't give it to a child <laughs> but it was really good Watching 
to see Jackson enjoying the pumpkin patch for the first time and you know the tractor ride and it was just a really good time and we even got some pumpkins and corn stalks to decorate the front porch <laughs> dinner we had that harvest sheet pan meal so like I said this is in my meal plan but all it is is some butternut squash and Brussels sprouts chicken apple sausage bacon yeah Jackson's doing some self play time right now and he likes it when I'm just here with him like not even necessarily playing with him and of course I interact with my child but um yeah, he's fine if I'm just like right here, but if I like went in the kitchen, mm -mm, he would not like that. So <laughs> anyways, um, what was I saying? Okay, so I chop it all up and um, I mix it with some coconut aminos, olive oil, and like a bunch of spices, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, all that. Um, mix it up in a big bowl. And then I cook the bacon first in the oven, which by the way, if you haven't cooked bacon in the oven, that's the way to do it. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and just lay the bacon in strips across the parchment paper. Bake it at like 400 to 425 for 15 minutes. And it's perfectly crispy, just like if you fried it up in a pan. So good though, and way easier cleanup. But anyways, so I cooked the bacon first and then that mixture that I just told you of all those chopped veggies, I put that in with the bacon fat and I kind of mix it up with the bacon fat and then I roast all the veggies and stuff like that. So we did some of that with my roasted garlic aioli, which is also in my meal plan, that recipe and my roasted garlic sourdough bread. So really filling, but also super healthy meal. anyone else but it takes me like three four five like three hours to cook dinner <laughs> 
And not because it, the meals that I make take, you know, require that much hands-on time, but because I will start, like, I'm starting dinner tonight at, I start at like three o'clock, and I will, yeah, I'll chop some veggies, and then I'll play with Jackson, and then I'll, you know, do some more chops, and then I'll do some more playing, <laughs> or then, you know, there's just like a million disruptions. But it always somehow gets made. <laughs> yeah, this is it, buddy. I feel like motherhood consists uh, quite a bit of just finding things that entertain and distract your children enough for you to be able to get just like something done. Am I right? I'm a new mom. So my son is at this point, he's like nine and a half months old. So if I'm on the right track already, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. Wondering how it could go so wrong, why you didn't call for help. But let me tell you about the trees and the seas, how it's all connected. The flowers and the birds and bees, the northern lights, yeah, we're all affected. Ooh, I'm watching, pray, pray, pray. I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. So here. A reminder to look at life that's pouring into you. And so, my friend, let me tell you once again, and you know that it's true. Forget about seeing it or hearing it, in the end, you must feel. Forget. Oh, and then Joey and I, and Jackson actually, we went to, he heard of this like cider house that is literally a house, um, just like a town over from ours. And they have this huge property where they have an, or an apple orchard, massive. And then they turned their like backyard into like a little bar and then hangout area. It was so cool. We just hung out out there. They have a fire pit and chickens and then like a stage where they play live music and it's all overlooking the orchard. It is so cool. So yeah, we just hung out and I had Jackson. I was just wearing Jackson and we just had a really good time doing that. Come here, son. No, you don't want to. Okay. So you guys, I am gonna go play with my son right now, but thank you so much for watching this little, you know, cook with me, fun fall festivities video. Um, if you want to see my video on autumn home making, this just has more specifics with how we welcome fall into our home as far as cleaning and decorating and things like that. Um, you can just click to this next video. But thanks again for watching. My name is Kiri with the blog HealthfullyRootedHome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. Thanks.